Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining us on this Wednesday morning afternoon for some of you. And welcome to this specialist trading uh, educational presentation. Now, today I want to talk to you about an entirely different way to trade candlesticks. I know the majority of you out there probably are using candlesticks right now or have used them in the past. And I would venture to say that the majority of all traders, regardless of what market or time frame, have used candlesticks in some capacity or, as we said, are currently using them right now. But for those of you who aren't really familiar, let's give you the standard definition of what candlestick patterns are, because candlestick patterns are reversal patterns usually occurring at the top or bottom of a trend. So when you see a candlestick pattern, it doesn't matter what it is. I would say, I venture to say the majority of all candlestick patterns are looked for either at the bottom or the top of a trend. For example, as we look at this uh, chart, older chart in Snapchat, we see that we have a strong downtrend in place, right? So reason would tell us that if we're using uh, conventional wisdom here, that we're looking for a candle pattern at the bottom of this trend to tell us when it's going to reverse and go back up. So as we see here, most likely there's pretty good support. Looks like a little double bottom is in place. Maybe that's where the institutions have come in and they wanted to start buying this. They think we've reached some type of support level. And on top of that, what do we have? We have two bullish engulfing patterns. These are probably one of the most common and most visible patterns in the uh, candlestick universe. And so this is very bullish, right? After all, they're called bullish engulfing patterns, meaning that you'll have a reversal to the upside. And this fits the uh, entire scenario of what you're looking for. You're looking for this reversal pattern at the bottom of a downtrend. So for all intents and purposes, the stock's gonna go up, right? So you jump in and buy, and then this happens, right? Look from here to anybody. Or what about this? Now, here's an older chart in Apple. Apple shot up probably off some news or some earnings or something. This is an older chart. And most likely traders would say, well, you know what? We've gone up a little bit too high. In fact, all the indicators are overbought. So I can't buy it here. I was interested in buying it lower. I'll wait till it comes down. And on top of that, what do we have? We have a small little uptrend in place and we also have a bearish engulfing pattern. So for all intents and purposes, we should probably sell this because we're at the top of a small little uptrend and this is most likely going to reverse. So you jump in and you sell, and then this happens, right? Let's look a little familiar. So we have to ask ourselves, is there a better way to trade candlesticks? Now, I myself have gone through this same scenario when I first started trading candlesticks, and this is what I wanna to talk to you about today, an entirely different way to trade candlesticks that actually has a higher level of consistency to it. I know a lot of you may say, well, Steve, I'm not the kind of trader you are. I really kind of look at fundamental news. I just kind of look at candlesticks to give me some direction as to where I'm going to go. Well, that's okay, because we have developed, along with Pro Trader Strategies and myself, a platform that actually teaches traders a new way to trade candlesticks, and it makes it simple for you to trade candlesticks on our platform. So welcome once again. My name is Stephen Primo. I am the president and founder of Specialist Trading. And if you're new to my webinars, we're a little bit different from other ones you may have attended. In other words, if you come here today, I'm not going to tell you what I think the market's going to do next week. I'm not going to tell you what you should buy or sell once we've ta finished talking today. I'm not going to tell you what the perfect time frame is. If you think about it, the entire industry is based on you going to a webinar or signing up for a course, and everyone tells you what to buy or what to sell, or they basically tell you what to do. Now, if that works so well, if that concept works so well, if you just blindly following along with these so-called gurus are telling you, then why is it estimated that 85% of all traders fail? Well, obviously it's because that doesn't work. So what we do at Specialist Trading is simply inform and educate traders so that they can make their own decisions. Now, I've been trading 43 years now. I started my career on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. I was on the floor for a total of 16 years and nine of those years I was a specialist. That's where we get the name Specialist Trading. A specialist doesn't mean you're any more special than anyone else. It just means that in the old days, if a floor broker had an order from a broker and he was either wanting to buy or sell a particular equity, he had to walk up to the booth of the specialist, the person who specialized in making markets in that particular stock. So I made markets in roughly about 50 or 60 stocks. I made markets during the crash of 87, the bull market that followed. So in my 43 years of trading, I know what works in terms of consistency and I know what doesn't. So this is why I teamed up with Pro Trader Strategies a little over a decade ago with one goal in mind and simply to educate traders, share with them 
all the variables, all the different options they could make in terms of choosing how they wanted to trade so that they could ultimately make their own trading decisions. In my opinion, this is the only way one can become a consistent trader. So that's our goal and that's our purpose. And you'll see that attention to detail that we give today in trying to educate you with this entirely different way to view and to trade candlesticks. Now, before we begin, as always, we are first required by law to share this with you. So please take a moment to view our disclaimer. I'm going to show you a lot of performance results using these techniques that I'm going to be sharing with you. But please remember that we can in no way guarantee that any of the results I'm about to share with you will be repeated in the future. And also, please remember that since we are an educational company, all examples are strictly for educational purposes only. Now, another way to educate yourself free of charge is simply to follow us on Twitter. There's our handle right there. You may want to copy it down. Every day I post different educational information, anywhere from little signals our strategies have generated to bits of financial wisdom I've accumulated along the way. There's lots of great free education, so please feel free to follow us on Twitter. Okay, now, as I stated in the opening statements, we are an educational company. That's our only purpose, simply to educate you. So once again, if you've come here today thinking, well, I'm going to tell you what to buy or sell, you've come to the wrong place. We really don't believe in that. This is the way I was taught some four decades ago by my mentors, and this is the way I teach my students around the world. We have students in over 115 countries and in virtually every state in the United States, and all we want to do is educate. Because remember, a good mentor does not trade for you. A good mentor teaches you how to trade. So that's our goal to simply teach you how to trade with the specialist edge, the same edge that has sustained me now for over four decades, and hopefully it'll do the same for you. Now, since this is going to be an educational classroom today, please ask me as many questions as possible, but I ask that you please wait till the end of the presentation. If we stop at every slide, we'll, we'll stop for far too long. We'll be here for about two or three hours. So if you have a question, Please wait till the end of the presentation. I promise I'll get to each and every one of them. The only question I will answer right now is the most common one, and that is, is this being recorded? Yes, it is. So if you have to leave early or if you're having technical issues, many times you just log off of go to webinar and log back on again. It'll be resolved. But if not, don't worry. Each and every one of you will get a link to this recording. All right. All right. So we have a good crowd here today. So please, if you joined us late, wait till the end of the class to ask any questions. With that stated, let us begin today's educational presentation. So we're going to be talking about an entirely different way to trade candlesticks. Remember, conventional wisdom tells us, myself included, when I first started trading, I was taught the same thing, that all candlesticks, candlestick patterns are reversal patterns. You find them at the bottom of the trend so that you can buy there because after all, they're designed to pick the bottoms and you find them at the top of a trend so you can sell there because they're designed to pick the top, right? But here's what I've learned in over four decades of trading with candlesticks. And it's simply this, candlestick patterns will have a higher level of consistency if you actually do the opposite, if you trade them in sync with the trend. And you see, this goes against everything we've been taught. This goes against you know, traditional wisdom that they're reversal patterns only. But let's go over some examples here. For example, in this downtrend, you should not be looking to buy. You should only be looking to sell. And the same thing goes with a so-called uptrend right here. But you see, we've been taught to do the opposite. We've been taught to stand in the way of a speeding train and saying, well, this pattern is telling me it's going to stop. But we all know through our experience, myself included, that it doesn't really work that way. Sure, it'll work every once in a while Well, where a candle pattern will give the exact high or top of an uptrend and you'll get the reversal perfectly or the exact bottom. But over time, it really doesn't work with that high of a level of consistency. Most likely, it's kind of like going to uh, you know, Las Vegas and playing with the slot machines. Over time, if you keep doing it over a while, most likely you'll give all your money back. Even though it's designed to have the bells and whistles go off and you have a small little jackpot every once in a while, over time, if you stay at the slot machine, you really won't have anything to show for it. It's the same way we're trying to pick tops and bottoms with candle patterns. Now, there are a number of different generic uh, trending tools you can use to find the trend. Everyone in the world knows that you should be trading with the trend, but everyone has a different idea. Uh, so these are some of the simplest and easiest way to determine what the trend is. First of all, you can look at indicators. A lot of people like to look at moving averages just to tell them what the time or what, what excuse me, what the uh, trend is. 
Other traders will look at patterns. They'll look for higher highs, higher lows to tell them that that's an uptrend or lower highs and lower lows to tell them that a downtrend is placed. Still, other traders like to look at different time frames. They'll say, well, I'm looking at a five minute chart, but I want to make sure that the hourly chart is in sync with the five minutes. So that's what tells me what the overall and short term trend are if they're in sync. Now, these are all well and good. A number of traders use these. When I first started trading, I was taught the same way to look at these to determine what the trend is. But I would say they're very generic and they only give you a somewhat you know, unsophisticated sense of what the trend is. All right. We want something that can help us determine the trend and sooner and earlier than anyone else. For example, as we look at this chart right here, this is the way most people will find the trend. They'll say, well, you know, I like to see higher highs, higher lows. And at this point, you made a higher high and you made a higher low. So when we break out, you say to yourself, well, we're now in a full fledged uptrend. So I'll buy. So you buy right here and for a good four or five days, you have a nice little profit. And here you think, wow, I'm going to make a lot of money. This is going to take off. And then you buy somewhere around there. And then this happens, right? So what we want to do is have a tool or an indicator or just some type of a bias so that we don't get in too late or get out too late. What we need is an early trend detector. What we need is a translator, something that translates what the markets want to do so that we know before anyone else does. Guess what? There is a tool available. It's called the Pet D. This is something I learned some four decades ago on the floor of the Pacific Stock Exchange. My mentors taught me this, and this is the best tool I know of for defining what the short term trend is. Now, when I first learned it, we used to call it the formula because it was really a formula that you had to calculate almost on a tick by tick basis. So it was very difficult to use for anything other than daily bars. It was just too difficult intraday. By the time you figured out what the bar was going to be doing, another bar was starting. So you had to start you know, calculating that one. Well, the good news is, is we've taken all the hard work out of that for you. With the, the aid of high speed computers now or with uh, programmers, we've developed it into a proprietary color bar tool. Let me show you how it works. Remember this older chart where we thought the trend was right here in, a, in an uptrend, so we got long and then it went down? Well, what we've done with the PET-D is we've developed it into a color bar algorithm, okay? So all you have to do is click on, on our platform, PET-D, and it automatically changes the colors. Now, green, a series of green bars equals an uptrend. A series of red bars equals a downtrend. So now, Instead of thinking that we're in an uptrend somewhere up here, we knew well in advance, way down here, that we were in an uptrend. We already had a series of green bars. And on top of that, well before we had turned around, we knew that with a series of red bars that we were in a downtrend. So it gave us plenty of time to get out. Now remember, the PET D is just an early trend detector. It's really just a translator. We call it our translator because it translates what the market wants to do on a tick by tick basis. It's not uh, something that indicates what the top or the bottom of a market is, okay? It doesn't predict tops or bottoms. It doesn't tell you and predict how long the trend will last. It's simply translating on a tick-by-tick -tick basis what it wants to do now. But that's a tremendous edge to have, especially when trading with candlesticks. So now, someone looking at this will say, yeah, Steve, it's easy to tell we're in a downtrend looking back in hindsight, but I want to know well in advance that we were in a downtrend. Well, once you add the pet D, you see how all the bars were red. So we knew well in advance that we were in a downtrend. Same thing turns with the uptrend, okay? Now, someone saying, well, sure, Steve, I don't wanna know here that I'm in an uptrend. I'd like to know somewhere back here. Well, once you apply it, guess what? You knew well in advance with a series of green bars that we were now in an uptrend. So let's trade engulfing patterns in sync with the PET-D because even though we can apply any candle pattern, I know a lot of people, and times I've done this webinars in the past, I believe I did this about five or six months ago, the same webinar, a lot of students don't really aren't familiar with and they don't know a lot of uh, candle patterns. So let's just stick with one pattern today. This is probably the most popular and easiest to identify. These are engulfing patterns. Now, just to give you a brief uh, uh, you know, review of how this works, how we want to trade engulfing patterns are we only want to buy if the engulfing bar or bar number two in the two bar pattern is colored green. So what does that look like? Okay, here is a bullish engulfing pattern, all right? It's a two bar pattern. 
Bar one doesn't have to be, but bar one is usually down, open to close down. Bar number two is usually up, open to close up. And what happens is it gets its name from bar number two's open to close range totally engulfs bar number one's open to close range. That's where you get the engulfing title, okay? Now, what we want to see is bar number two colored green. Now, bar number one can be green, but it really doesn't matter if it's red or green. We just need to have bar number two green. So once we apply the PET D, we see that, well, they're both green. So this is a very, very high probability up move setup. See how simple this is. You don't have to look at earnings. You don't have to look at volume. You don't have to look at economic indicators like jobless claims or whatever. I stopped looking at those things some four decades ago. This is all I look at if I'm trading candlesticks with the uh, Pet D tool. Now, it works to the downside as well. Let's just give you an example, though, of how this worked. On, this is an older chart of win. Looks like nothing's happening here, right? Most traders would say, well, gosh, Steve, this is a no trend range market. I'm not going to do anything here. That uh, chat room I go to says to stay away from markets like this. But see, this is the way most people find out what the trend is. They just look at it or they use an old outdated way of determining the trend. Once we apply our tool for the trend, which is the PET D, we see that, I kind of backtracked here, we see we have an engulfing pattern and we see that bar number two in the engulfing bar is green. So this is a very bullish setup here where most people would say, well, the, the stock is going sideways. There's no advantage here. Actually, there's a tremendous advantage because now you have the advantage of finding a candlestick pattern that is in sync with the pet D, is in sync with the trend. You see, most trending tools would not even find a trend here, but that's how sensitive the pet D is. That's how sensitive this translator is. And the stock went up 12 points in one week. This is where most people say, gosh, I wish I had known that was going to take off, but it really wasn't giving me any clear signals. Well, if you know how to trade by listening to the market and blocking out all of these things that we've been taught to, to look at, such as earnings, economic reports, uh, some guy on TV in a chat room or talking in a chat room, if you block out all those inconsistent things, then you really just listen to one thing, which is the chart in front of you. That's when you start to become consistent. Let's look at this example here. Now we're looking at bearish engulfing pattern. It's the same concept, we just turn it upside down. We're only gonna sell if the engulfing pattern, which is bar number two, is colored red. So let's give you a brief refresher course on a bearish engulfing pattern. It's a, once again, a two bar pattern, but in this case, bar number one is usually up from open to close, and bar number two is down from open to close. So it gets its name from the range of the open to close range of bar number two engulfs the open to close range of bar number one, all right? Now this in it of itself is a bearish edge here, but once you add the pet D, you wanna see that bar number two is colored red. We don't have any interest in what the color is of bar number one. We only care about bar number two. Once we apply the pet D, we see that bar number two is red, so that is a very high probability downward move setup. Once again, that's all you need to know. Find a candle pattern. In this case, we're looking at bearish engulfing patterns and make sure that the last bar in the pattern is red or green if we're looking for an up pattern. It's that simple. So let's look at this example, all right? All right, most traders, we use conventional wisdom and say, well, Steve, I've always been taught we're looking for a bottom here in this trend. We're always taught to buy low and sell high, right? So if I'm a trader with candlesticks, I'm looking for a reversal pattern somewhere down here. After all, we've been going down for you know, a good three weeks. So this is a bullish engulfing pattern. This is where I wanna buy, okay? That's outdated conventional wisdom that really doesn't show any levels of consistency. Why? Because you're out of sync with the trend. Remember, the first thing we wanna do is once we find a candle pattern is apply the pet D. And what's the pet D telling us? What's the translator telling us? It's saying, yes, we're in a downtrend and bar number two is red. So we should never look at this as a buy signal. So you wouldn't take that, and guess what? You wouldn't have had a losing trade. It would have been far more advantageous knowing that you're in a downtrend and that the bars are red to look for candle patterns that are, are in sync with the trend. For example, this bearish engulfing pattern right here. Don't you think that would have been a nice trade to the downside? And what if you missed that? Well, guess what? The engulfing pattern down here could have get, gotten you back in to still have some profit. 
So do you see how now you've learned that trading with candlesticks in the conventional sense really doesn't have any level of consistency? Sure, every once in a while you may pick a top or a bottom, but just like the slot machines, over time, if you continue to trade that way, you'll most likely give it all back. And you know this yourself. Ask yourself, how well have candlesticks been working for you if you've been trading them that way? You will have a higher level of consistency if you trade candlestick patterns in sync with the trend. And remember, you can use any generic way to define what the trend is. But those basic generic uh, patterns for trend definition have a very low level of consistency themselves. If you want to get to that high level of consistency, the pet D is the best way to go. So when we combine these two techniques, candle patterns with the pet D, we have what we call our candlestick combo. This is one of our most consistent as well as popular courses we have at Specialist Trading and Pro Trader Strategies. We have students around the world using this, and it doesn't matter whatever market. I'm going to show you the majority of these examples today with stocks, but we have tons of uh, students using this overseas trading the forex markets. We also have commodity traders using this, Bitcoin traders, as well as uh, futures traders. So it makes absolutely no difference what market. It makes no difference what time frame. And remember, if you're not used to this style of trading, we've made it simple. And I'll show you the process with these slides I'm going to go, be going over right now, because this is the same way you would apply this on the PTS Primo charting platform. This is the platform that makes candlestick trading simple. Everything is pre-formatted. There's nothing you need to do. Okay, so let's look at some recent examples and we'll show you this process. All right, here's a chart of ABT, all right? Once again, this is in the middle of August last month, just about a couple of weeks ago. Most traders looking at this would say, Steve, how can I get any clear-cut idea? This is a no-trend range market. That chat room I go to every morning, you know, says to stay away from these things. And on top of that, you know, I, I just don't see any clear-cut definition as to what's going to happen. You know, the earnings aren't set to come out, so I don't really, really know and have a clear-cut idea. Does this sound familiar? To see the way I'm justifying all my decisions based on an outside source, either the earnings, what some guy's saying in a chat room, uh, what some guy's saying on TV, but I'm not basing my decision off of the chart in front of me. So how do I find out what the chart in front of me is telling me? Well, first thing I want to do is listen to the pattern. And there's actually a bullish engulfing pattern right here, okay? And most people would say, but yeah, I thought I'm supposed to find that at the bottom of a trend. This is a sideways moving market. There's no downtrend here. Remember, that kind of conventional wisdom doesn't work. So we don't care about that. We really want to find out what the trend is. We apply the pet D. We simply click it on on our platform right here in the upper green strategy tab. Click it on, and we'll find that. The last four bars were actually green, and all we care about is that bar number two is green. So where everyone else is saying there's absolutely no clues here with this market, we're seeing a tremendous clue to go long. This was on the 20th of August, just about three weeks ago, two weeks ago. The stock went up 12 points, and it even gapped up based off some news, which I have no idea what it is. You know, Once again, news is not required. I stopped listening to the news four decades ago. When I was trading on the floor, I was in charge of making markets in roughly about 50 or 60 stocks. I thought at that time that if anyone had to know about the earnings, about the inner workings of every company, about the direction, about who the CEO was, it was me, right? Because I was in charge of making markets in those stocks. My mentor said that couldn't be any further from the truth. They said, why would you have to know that? You need to know that, sure, if you're investing, if you're a long-term investor, but Steve, you're hold, we're holding things for minutes, for days. Why would you have to? Who cares? The market tells you just about everything you need to know. It was a very difficult concept for me to really grasp at first. But after I grasped it, I saw that you're right. It absolutely makes no sense. I mean, I stopped looking at earnings. I stopped looking at economic reports. People ask me all the time, Steve, what do you think are going to be the uh, jobless claims or the, uh, you know, the numbers coming out? I say, I don't even know what they are. And I, I, why would I care? You know, I just listen to what the market's telling me. So this is a great example of why something came out and how the market told you it wanted to go higher a full week in advance. Here's another example on Occidental Petroleum. This actually was a stock I used to make market in when I was working on the floor. Once again, traditional wisdom, the way we're all taught was that we'd say, well, wow, we're in a downtrend, right? So we want to look for some type of a bullish pattern. We want to look for a bullish reversal. So this is the way we would usually trade, but I'm telling you that there's really no consistency in that. So what you want to look for is something that's telling you it's going to go lower. 
And what do we have here? A bearish engulfing pattern. Now, just because we have these two things in play, remember, it's not enough information. We need to confirm it with the pet D because just because I can see from looking at the chart that it's going lower does not confirm that we're in a full-fledged downtrend. We need that pet D, the translator, to tell us the short-term trend is down. So we click it on on our platform and we change the colors automatically. We see that, yes, bar number two is red. So we have confirmation from our translator that, yes, we are in a short-term downtrend and that you can actually sell this if you decided to do so. That would have been a wise choice. It fell three and a half points. Now, most people would say, Steve, three and a half points, that's not a lot. But think of it, this is a very inexpensive price stock. That's a 22% drop in about two or three weeks. Now, what if you went short Tesla and it dropped 22% in a couple of weeks? Wouldn't you be happy, right? If you were on the short side, if you had the puts? Well, it's all relative, right? This is an inexpensive stock that still fell over 20%. What about letter V? Once again, most traders will say, well, Steve, I took that $10,000 class on the institutions and support and resistance. And according to that indicator, I learned uh, there are major, major resistance right here. This is where all the institutions and all the banks are selling. And so I don't want to go against them, right? Because they, they're always right. They, they have the most money. And so uh, if they're selling here, I want to be a seller. Once again, do you see how all my decisions is made off someone or something else? I know this firsthand because I used to trade with the institutions. They used to enter orders in my book when I was making markets on the floor of the exchange. And I can tell you from my own personal experience, they had the lowest track record out of any trader I ever traded with. I mean, if they were someone I was going to follow, they would be the least of anyone I would ever follow. They were constantly entering orders, uh, canceling them, entering them again, canceling them. It's almost like they didn't know what they wanted to do. So I would never follow an institution. They had the, the worst track record of any trader I ever worked with. What I would follow is the market itself. What is the market telling me? Well, right here, there's a bullish engulfing pattern. So based off the price pattern, it's telling me that, well, there's a, a nice little pattern here that says it wants to go higher. But we need to confirm that with the trend. So we apply the pet D, click it on our platform. Guess what? Even though it looks like there's major, major so-called resistance, the market is telling you it wants to go higher because not only is bar number two higher, but all the bars have been colored green. So this is a not just a average a buy uh, or uptrend setup. This is a screaming uptrend setup. You could have gone long letter V on the 19th. Stock went up 13 points in the next week. Okay, Most people would say, well, what, what? I thought there was resistance there. I stopped looking at that four decades ago. There's no reason if you don't want to look at that. Okay, POR, once again, someone looking at this, Steve, major support. This is where the banks are buying. Look at this double bottom. This is major, major. This is Fibonacci support. Okay, I, I traded with Fibonacci, you know, decades ago, and I found no consistency in Fibonacci. So if I don't use it, I'm not going to teach it. If you feel comfortable with it, that's fine. I'd rather just listen to the market. Right off the bat here, I saw a bearish engulfing pattern. Now, this is an example of what takes you a little bit longer, but usually the market tells you what it wants to do. But remember, it's not a predictor. It doesn't say it's going to happen right away, but at least we want to be in sync with it. So we click on the pet D, and yes, bar number two is colored red. Now, it took a while for it to kick into place, but ultimately the stock fell and gapped down based off some news. As we look at uh, Microsoft, okay, we have two bullish engulfing patterns. Most traders will say, but we're in a, a nice upward slope. How can I you know, look for a bullish engulfing pattern? I, I thought we're supposed to be looking for negative patterns. Remember, as long as you're in sync, that will have a higher level of consistency. Now, all the bars have been colored green, so that's a good sign. Stock went up 16 points in about a week, okay? GILD, a perfect example of we're in a downtrend and we have a bearish engulfing pattern. This goes against everything we've always been taught, but remember, what we've been taught is not consistent. Trading in sync with the trend will give you a higher level of consistency as opposed to trading out of sync as trying to pick a bottom or top. So we're just going with it. And on top of that, our short-term short trend identifier says we're going lower. All the bars are red. So you could have elected to go short GILD. That would have been a nice trade. The stock went down 10 points coming into the end of August. Here's an example in UPS. Now, most traders would say, gosh, you know, I missed this. I wanted to buy it, but some news came out where it gapped up right here coming into August. 
and it's too overbought now. You know, all the indicators are way overbought. See, it's having trouble getting through that level. If I'm going to do anything, I'm going to wait for it to come down, maybe fill this gap, and then I'll buy again. So this is how traders miss a lot of trades because they're telling themselves, you know, this is too scary. I don't want to buy at these high levels. But remember, it's okay as long as you're in sync with the trend. If we apply the pet D, we see that the trend is telling us it's higher. And if we look for that pattern, we have two bullish engulfing patterns right here. So the market is screaming that there's still room left to go higher. And it went up 17 points in the next four days. As we look at CME, this is a real uh, confusing site. Just looking at these uh, bars right here, someone say, well, we went up, then we're going down. There's no clear cut idea as to what this market wants to do. I don't even think CME knows what it wants to do. This is the way we always decide, you know, by just by looking at a chart. But if you apply the translator, the translator is telling you it wants to go lower. Even though it looks as if on, uh, you know, on face value, it just kind of looks like it's not doing anything. The translator says, listen, all the bars are red. Even when we had an update right here and another one right here and another one right here, the outline of the bar was colored red. So that's telling you it's an up day in a downtrending market. That's like having a warm 80 degree day in the middle of winter. Just because you have a warm 80 degree day, it doesn't mean that winter's over. That, that's it. Winter is over in the middle of December. No, it just means that's aberration that for one or two days, it's going to be hot and then it'll resume right back down to being cold again. It's the same way with having an up day that's colored red. It's just a day that's been up in a still overall downward short-term trend. So we don't at all want to consider going long. We want to look for a negative pattern, which we find right here, a bearish engulfing pattern. Had you elected to go short that on uh, the middle in the middle of June, well, that's a nice 12 quick points to the downside. You see how simple this is? It just, you know, trading is really simple. It's just the trader that gets in his own way and makes it more complicated than it has to be. If you're trading properly, if you're doing it correctly, it's extremely simple and extremely boring because there's really not a lot you have to overthink. It's just us now that overcomplicate things. For some reason, we've been taught the more complicated your method is, your strategy, the more valid it will be, the more profitable it will be. And if there's one thing I've learned in 43 years of trading, it's the opposite. You will be more consistent if you have a very simple trading method. As we look at BABA right here, this was in the middle of August. We have a bullish engulfing pattern. Bar number two is colored green. This was on the 17th of August when it looked as if the stock was just going sideways. 35 points coming into last week, okay? How about EHTH? Someone could say, well, Steve, we're in an uptrend, right? So I should be buying, right? This is where the pet D is so valuable because I know a lot of you will say, well, okay, I've learned this concept. Why should I have the pet D? I can figure out when we're in an uptrend. So I'll just look for, you know, bullish engulfing patterns or any candlestick pattern, and I'll just buy it in an uptrend. Well, that'll work, but remember, it'll only take you so far. You need the really tr short-term translation of the pet D because just on site value, this, for all intents and purposes, is a valid uptrend. But if we apply the pet D, we see here that, first of all, there's a bearish engulfing pattern. And if we apply the pet D now, guess what? Every bar, even though it was up, was outlined red. So that really was not an uptrend. That was just a short-term bounce in a downtrend. So this is why the pet D is so valuable. You may look at a chart and say, well, this is an uptrend. I'll just go look for uh, buying opportunities. No, because the pet D is telling you don't get fooled. It, the pet D is so sensitive that it can tell you even through a bounce, if you're in an uptrend or in a downtrend. In this case, we're actually in a downtrend. So you could have taken advantage of this bearish engulfing pattern. This was in the last uh, month in August. 45 points coming into uh, last week, okay? See how powerful this is. But you have to have the pet D to be able to know whether you're in an uptrend or a downtrend. Now, People always say, well, what about news, Steve? Everything goes out the window. If a news announcement comes out, I mean, you're most likely going to lose if you're on the wrong side. Well, yes, nothing is guaranteed. I'm not going to sit here and tell you this never fails. But remember, we're just trying to put the odds in our favor, and you will have a higher level of consistency, not listening to news, not worrying about it, but listening to the market. For example, 
This was on August 3rd, about a month ago. Varian Medical System stock surged today uh, based off, I believe there were buyout rumors in the stock. Okay, this was on August 3rd. If we look at the chart, here's where the news came out, where it gapped up based on these uh, trem this tremendous news. Or I guess it wasn't buyout rumors. It was after uh, Special said it struck a deal. Oh, yeah, struck a deal to be acquired. This just shows you how I don't really follow news. <laughs> I didn't really know what the news announcement was. So there was buyout rumors. There's a news announcement that it was uh, struck a deal to be acquired. Okay, right here. This is where most traders like to play the victim game. They always say, gosh, you know, I missed that. Boy, if I had just bought that the week before, you know, I could have made a killing. I would have had a great year in this one trade. But I never catch these ones because I never know. You know, how are you supposed to know this is going to happen? You know, I can't read all the financial reports. I can't keep track of all these companies. Trust me, I know you can't. And trust me, why would you want to? Is there any way the market could have told you in advance before that news came out? Well, let's apply the two edges we talked about today, the two techniques. First of all, here's a bullish engulfing pattern. Now, that's all well and good. That's just the market telling you it wants to go higher, but we have to find out where the trend is. Once we apply the trend with the pet D, we see here that, well, it's confirming it because bar number two is green. So that's a great sign. I know someone here would say, well, Steve, here was a bearish engulfing pattern. You're right. But in order for a bearish engulfing pattern to be valid, the pet D would need the color bar number two red. And what color is bar number two in this bearish engulfing pattern right here? It's green. So that's not a valid signal. So you would not have even taken that to go short. And that would have been a wise choice because look what happened. You could have potentially made 55 points. All right. So traders love to play this victim game where they, you know, sulk and lick their wounds and say, that never happens to me. But now that you know how to listen to the market, now that you have these tools, you'll never have to play that game again because you're, for the first time, making your own decisions. And when you make your own decisions, you're responsible for your trading destiny. So you never have anyone to blame. You never have to be a victim. But at the same time, you'll never have anyone else to you know, say, well, my success relies on them because your success is based all on your own decisions. You're in charge of your own trading destiny, and that's our goal. That's my goal as a mentor, as an educator, to teach you these things so that you'll never have to rely on anyone or anything else. Here's another example where most traders would say, wow, absolutely nothing going on here. If I have to make a decision, we've got major support, right? This is where the institutions are buying. So if I'm going to do anything, I'm going to be a buyer, all right? But when we had the pet D, what is the pet D telling us? Betty's telling us that even though we may be going sideways for the past two weeks, this is in a downtrend. All the colors of the bars are red. So the translator is saying, listen, it may take a while to kick in, but you want to be short more than be positive on this. So you look for a bearish pattern. We have three of them. So right now the market is screaming it wants to go lower. You don't have to listen to any news. You don't have to look at the economic reports. We don't care what the interest rates are. We don't care what earnings are. The market's telling us it's screaming it wants to go lower. This was last month. Stock gap down 45 points. Once again, most traders would say, well, how did you know it was going to gap down 45 points? We didn't know. All we knew is that at the moment, it was telling us it wanted to go lower. So we just jump on board for the ride. Remember, these are not predictive tools. We will not predict how high or how low something goes. We just ride it until we want to take a profit. And we have in our courses, we have upwards of six or seven different exit strategies for you to take advantage of. But I know personally, if I had taken this trade, I would have gotten out on this far. I wouldn't have, I would have taken my 40, 45 points and said, thank you very much. Here's an example in W day. Okay. Once again, we're in a clear cut uptrend, right? Here's a bullish engulfing pattern. So we want to go long, but remember, it's not just enough. We have to confirm it with a pet D. Once we apply the pet D, we see that not only is bar number two outlined green, but the, all the bars are green. So this is a good sign. You could have gone long uh, W day on the 20th of August, 55 points in six days, okay? This is how simple trading can be if you just get out of your own way. All right, let's look at some different time frames and some different markets real quickly before we go into question and answers, okay? Here's a weekly chart of the QQQs, okay? Most people would say, boy, this rally has just taken me by surprise. I had no idea. But once again, if we look at these weekly bars, all of the bars have been colored green since April. And look at, we have a bullish engulfing here, another one here, another one here, another one here. So the market has been screaming 
all along it wants to go higher. And had you taken the very first signal, potentially 70 points in the QQQs you could have taken advantage of. This represents thousands of points as we've seen in the Dow. How about the dollar index, okay? Looking back in hindsight, someone would say, well, Steve, yeah, it's easy to see we've been going down, but how could I have taken advantage of that? Well, once we apply the PET D, we see the majority of the bars are red, but all we need is bar number two to be colored red in a engulfing pattern. And look at all these examples here. Here, 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 here. All these examples, you could have gone short, and nine points, the dollar index has fallen, which represents thousands of dollars you could have made to the downside, potentially. And then lastly, here's a 10-minute chart of the E-mini futures. This was August 28th, last week. Obviously, we're in an uptrend, right? And we have two bullish engulfing patterns right here on the 28th. But we just want to confirm them. So we apply the PET D. Yes, we confirm it. Both of those bars are green, bar number two. So you could have gone long, potentially captured 24 points. That's $1,200 per contract you could have potentially captured. So you see, you can apply it to any market, any time frame. It's that simple. So let's recap before we go into question and answer portion. I tell you about a great offer I have for all of you today. Remember, only buy or sell any candle pattern that is in sync with the PAT D. You will have a higher level of consistency. If there's one thing I leave you today, if there's one thing I teach you, do not use candles in the traditional sense. You will not have that high level of consistency. Okay? Don't try to use them as reversal patterns. Trade them in sync with the trend. I know most of you are saying, okay, well, I'll just use a moving average and I'll be in sync with that. That will only take you so far. I showed you a couple examples where it looked as if you were in an uptrend. It looked as if you were in a downtrend, but the PET D was not confirming it. And you saw how you would have lost a lot of money just betting on a very standard generic way of determining the trend. The PET D will give you that higher level of consistency that you're searching for. So as we close here, ask yourself, do you think these two methods can help your trading for the remainder of 2020? We've only got about four months left. Most likely you're nowhere near where you promised yourself you'd be at the beginning of the year. Close out strong. Here's how to close out 2020 strong. Take advantage of this. Remember, extremely important to remember, this is not a complete strategy. We did not talk about entry signals. We did not talk about exactly where you'd enter. We didn't talk about where you place your stop. Because remember, nothing works 100% of the time. You have to protect yourself. We also didn't talk about where you'd exit. You know, some of these had some really nice gains. Others had small gains. Where would you exit? And then lastly, we didn't talk about money measure. How many shares? How many contracts? Would you track the trade? Raise your stop up? We didn't talk about protecting your trade. These are all important facets of a full-fledged strategy. Well, we have a great offer for all of you today that will answer all of these questions. We're going to offer you our candlestick combo. That's candlestick strategy number five, along with the pet D. You're going to get instant course access, detailed video instruction, and with this course, you get all of our different entries, exits, and stop rules. Upwards of seven different categories for each one of these, okay? Seven ex exits, seven different entries, seven different stops, the entire course rules, and included with your pet D course, you'll get four more trading techniques that we didn't talk about today. So this is a great, great offer. But remember, we shared with you how well you can execute this on our platform. Well, we're going to throw in a full year of our platform, which usually runs close to $1,200. Guess what? We're not going to charge you that. We're going to give you 12 months absolutely free. So you're going to get this, in, this great candlestick combo special along with a full free year of our platform. Now, we're not going to just stop there because on the platform, you're also going to get some extra perks. For example, you'll get our pet D directional tool. You get strategy number five, but you'll also get our proprietary buy sell line. That's another way of determining the overall trend. Remember, the pet D is a great way to define the short term trend. The proprietary buy sell line, we have four different ways to find out what the overall trend is. You'll also get over 90 of our most prominent technical indicators, a strength of trend tool. But here is a great, great extra advantage. You're going to get automatic exit levels. This is just one of our different exit methods, and it's already pre-formatted on the platform. So there's nothing you have to figure out by hand. For example, here's a sell signal in BSX, okay? It's a candle a stick strategy number five sell signal, and it's colored red by the PET D. So it's a valid candlestick combo sell signal. Now, prior to even taking the signal, 
you could have on the platform clicked on and found out where the exit levels were. These are high probability exit levels. Some of our traders who like to get in and out of trades would exit right here. Others who are more swing traders would exit at these two levels. Other traders who like to stay in as long as possible and go for as much bang for your buck would exit at the fourth and final exit. As we see the trade unfold, each one of those levels was hit, as you see, almost uncannily before the stock started to go back up. This is all on the platform. It works the other way as well. Here's a buy signal just last week or two in DKS, okay? This is Dick's Sporting Goods. It was a strategy number five buy signal and it was outlined green, so it's confirmed by the pet D. Now, before you took the trade, you could have found out where these pre-formatted exit levels are. Once again, you decide which ones you wanna take, but in the next week or two, each one of them was hit. Had you gone for this one at 55.15, well, that's a nice, gosh, I think we're talking about a good, um, nearly 10 point gain had you taken that trade. So that comes included. And on top of that, an extra bonus worth its weight in gold is the scanner. This is included on the platform. I, I love our scanners because we made them so simple. For example, on the green strategy tab, all you have to do is click on strategy five and the drop down menu, click on scan, and you'll see this appear. Okay, you can scan for any market you want, the currency pairs, Bitcoin, commodities, stocks, S&P 500, NASDAQ 100, uh, DAX exchange, European markets, uh, uh, Asian markets. We have a full list. You can choose whichever one you want to scan for. We even have intraday scans. When you get a green horizontal bar, that's a buy signal in the corresponding stock. When you get a red one, here's a sell signal. As we see here on the 26th of August in KO, we had a buy signal. Okay. now. You would have scanned for that in order to validate this with a candlestick combo, click on the pet D and you see, yes, it's been validated. It's colored green. So you have both of these on the platform. All you have to do is decide whether you want to take the trade. Had you taken the trade, guess what? 12 points in two days. Now, I just looked at this chart a few minutes ago before I started the class today. And I think the, the stock is actually up another five or 10 points. So if you wanted to stay in longer, you could have used that as well. So this is an actual uh, set up using the candlestick combo uh, course that you could have taken advantage of just last week. I know a lot of webinars you go to, they show you some great signals, and then you look at the date and they were about six months to a year ago. This just happened last week. Had we given this presentation and you take advantage of this great offer I'm going to share with you, you could have taken advantage of this signal if you, if you decided to do so. So this is a great, great offer, and this all comes with one year of the platform along with personalized tech support. So let's break this down because a year from today, you will have wished you became a member of this candlestick combo course. All right, what's this gonna cost? Well, normally our candlestick combo special with the strategy five, a year of the platform and with the pet D, this would normally cost you roughly $5,000. We're gonna discount it down to a one-time fee of $497 with $97 per month. That's it, that is such a great, great offer. On top of that, we're throwing in the 12 months of the PTS Primo charts for free. Now, a lot of our students say, Steve, listen, I'm sold. I don't need to be paying a monthly fee of $97. What if I just want to pay outright and just buy it one time? Well, if you have a one-time payment, it will only cost you $29.95. So either way you decide to go, this is a tremendous, tremendous discount, okay? Either the one-time fee of $4.97 with $97 a month or the one-time payment, altogether payment of $29.95. Either way, you're going to get 12 months of the platform free. So this is a great, great offer, a chance to take your trading to the next level. Here's how to take advantage of this. I would personally, if you're having trouble deciding how you wanna do it, or let's say you already have the platform on a trial and you wanna incorporate that in, you wanna discuss you, uh, the flexibility of your options, contact Pro Trader Strategies. I developed the courses with them and the platform. They're very flexible. They would be happy to work for you. They'll, they'll set up this payment plan with you. You can do everything over the phone. So I would suggest calling them if you have questions to call them at 310-598-6677. They have trained uh, trading consultants manning the phones right now. They're, there's absolutely no obligation. They would be more than happy to answer any question. Now we've just posted that link you see at the very bottom on the chat box. So if you wanna to go to the sign up page and do it online, or if you just want more information that's on our information page, click on the link in the chat box and you can have more information there as well, okay? Now I promise I would reserve the last five or 10 minutes for any questions you have. So if you do have questions, just go to your uh, chat box, question and answer box, I should say, 
and type them in and I'll answer them to the best of my ability, all right? Uh, someone's asking, can we apply this to intraday e-mini trading? Yes, you can. Uh, you must have asked this before I showed the e-mini slide. Yeah, I, I use this on my personal e-mini trading. This is a great, great strategy. We have a lot of traders who like to use this on intraday trading as well. It just doesn't have to be on a daily bar or an hourly bar. You can use this on tick charts or on five minute charts if you like. But remember, this can be applied to any market, any time frame. Now, the markets have been going straight up, but one day they're going to turn around and they're going to go down very fast. A lot of traders say, I don't have a method that works in down markets. This is a great method to work in down markets. I didn't have a lot of slides to share with you of downward examples because the market's been going straight up. But once the markets go down, they go down much quicker than when they go up. And if you're looking for a method that can find these nice downward setups, strategy five is perfect, okay? Uh, next question, I came in late. Uh, is this an add-on study or do I need to have another fee for real-time prices? Um, if you, if I would contact Pro Trader Strategies because if you have the platform, you should be getting all of that information. But I know they do have add-ons available. So if you want to add it on to a certain platform, we have add-ons available for TradeStation, Metastock, MT4, uh, uh, let's see, for Ninja Trader. So there's a lot. Uh, you're asking about eSignal? I think there is, but you know, since they are in charge of all the tech support and all of that, I would most likely contact them. Remember, there's no obligation, but anything concerning tech support or the actual um, data feed and everything applied with the platform, uh, Pro Trader Strategies can answer your question. And remember, there's no obligation. If you have a question about that, they're not going to try and sell you. They're very flexible. They'd be very happy to work with you so you can think about it. The only thing I would say is if you're interested, as I say every week, don't sleep on these great offers. Uh, last week, I had an offer, a great, great discount. I believe it was a $2,000 discount on another entirely different uh, uh, package, uh, entirely different way of trading the markets. And if you come back today looking for that same offer, it's already gone. It's already back up to the thousands of dollars. So you don't want to wait that long. You know, These offers usually stand for a couple of days, two or three days, and then they go back to their normal price. Okay. Uh, uh, let's see. The link seems to be only for one-time fee. Okay. Then I would go and contact Pro Trader Strategies via phone, okay? If you're interested, uh, they can take care of all the uh, transactions over the phone. And if you just have questions, they can do that as well. I don't want you to feel obligated that if I call, that means I have to buy something. No, you can call and ask questions and think about it for a day or two and make your decision, okay? Tell them I said that. <laughs> because they're in charge of all sales, they're in charge of all tech support, they're in charge of all the links. I'm basically just in charge of teaching you everything, okay? You're more than welcome, okay? Um, can the pet D be applied to other markets? Oh, sure. The pet D, once again, uh, you know, we have traders that use the pet D strictly for commodities, okay? So it does not matter. You know, they're using it for corn and for coffee, which have nothing to do with stocks, but uh, they're doing just as well. Anywhere that it can translate what the market wants to do on a tick-by-tick -tick basis, it can tell you if it wants to go higher or lower. That's how sensitive this tool is. I use it in, in everything I trade, the pet D. You know, it's something that I will not trade without the pet D. So I scan for it all the time and it works great with strategy number five. Strategy number five, if you just traded strategy number five by itself, it would be a very consistent method. But take it to the next level with the pet D. You will have even higher level of consistency and at such a great discount, 497 one-time fee and then 97 per month. I mean, that's a great offer. It's going to go back into the thousands by next week. So don't sleep on this. Take advantage of this if you're really interested. Remember, four months left in the, in the year. That's it. And then we start an entirely new year. The markets have gone pretty much straight down, then straight up this year. You know, this strategy could really help you if you've had difficulties in the markets. Take advantage of this great offer because, before the price goes back up. Now, remember, you're all going to get a link to this recording. So watch this recording, but I would suggest watch it as soon as possible if you have any questions, and then call Pro Trader Strategies. Because if you do like a lot of traders do, they say, hey, I have to watch that recording, and they wait a couple of weeks, and then they see that their trading is doing terrible. They watch the recording, and they say, you know what? I'm going to take advantage of that 497 offer. Well, most likely in two weeks, that offer is long gone. So I'm not trying to press it on you, but but if you're going to do it, uh, take advantage of it very quickly. You know, don't don't sleep on that recording that we're going to be sending out to all of you. 
Okay, thank you so much. We're just about at the end of time here. If you have any questions, remember, there's absolutely no obligation. Feel free to give ProTrader Strategies a call at 310-598-6677. They would be more than happy to answer any question concerning pricing, cost, anything, whatever, the platform, the data, and with no obligation at all, okay? Thank you so much for attending today. I hope you learned something about how uh, to look at uh, candlesticks in an entirely different way. Feel free to experiment with this, but if you really want to get that high level of consistency, you have to be a student of mine in the Candlestick Combo course, okay? Thank you so much for attending. As you look at one last uh, slide of our disclaimer here, I wish you the best of luck, but most importantly, I look forward to all of you becoming students of mine in the Candlestick Combo course. Thank you so much. Have a great day. I shall see you next time. Bye-bye.